To begin my review of the entry-level MacBook Pro, specs include a 2.3GHz dual-core Intel Core i5 processor, 4GB of RAM, 320GB of storage, a 13.3-inch LED backlit glossy widescreen display with a resolution of 1280 by 800 This computer also includes an Intel HD Graphics 3000 processor, a built-in FaceTime HD camera, and the Thunderbolt port. Speed will not be an issue with this computer, using Intel's LightPeak technology and Sandy Bridge processor that comes on this computer. Ports on this computer include a MagSafe power port, Gigabyte Ethernet port, FireWire port, Thunderbolt port, two USB 2.0 ports, SD card slot, and headphone jack. Also, if you move your computer, you just press that button right there to see how much battery you have. On the other side, you get your Kensington lock and your DVD slots. Like all MacBooks now, you get a full backlit QWERTY keyboard. It's very easy to change the brightness of your keyboard. All you have to do is press the F5 button to get your brightness lower and your F6 button to get your brightness higher. This computer ships with Mac Line, the new operating system with all Macs, and as you guys can see, I'm typing in my password, it's optional. Your home screen, and you do a four finger swipe up to look at your, kind of your dashboard and your desktop like spaces, and that's called mission control. And you can add another desktop and take it away. If you do a four finger swipe, left and right, you can move and see your other desktops, very easy, it's very seamless. So now I'm opening up the Mac App Store, which comes automatically with the computer. I'm going to open up Photo Booth, and this is a full screen app, and it opens kind of a new desktop and the four finger swipe, I can get to my different desktops. Very nice, very convenient. Also, a five finger swipe in, you get your launch pad with all your apps. And you can make folders, like so. And to make one, you just drag an app over another one and it creates a folder and it has a name. One thing I don't like about this computer is that the volume doesn't go very loud. For example, it doesn't go super loud like I wish it would. It goes pretty medium and it's fine if you're just listening to it by yourself, but if you want to, you know, like have maybe a little party, it's not going to be long enough for you. Now I'm going to show you the boot up of this computer. I'm going to restart this computer. Click restart. It turns off. And then it turns back on. That is how long it takes to boot up. In this review, here's a comparison between the 2010 MacBook Pro and the 2011 MacBook Pro, and as you can see, they're pretty much the same thickness.